Hey, I'm Skyler. Without violating the end user license agreement of your iPad, you can't actually access the file system, despite the fact that it's based on OS X, the same operating system that runs the Macintosh de desktop. So what's a person to do who wants files and folders? Well, there's an application called Phone Drive, and I'll give you a quick tour. Even though I don't have a lot of content in it, it'll give you the idea. So Phone Drive essentially gives you folders and files. Whoa, imagine that. If I tap plus, look at that. I can do a new text file, a new folder, a new playlist, photos, videos, library, voice recording. So it actually gives us a lot of the functionality that you would find in Finder on the Mac. Let's just check it out. So I'm going to create a new folder, and I'm going to call it uh, Notes. Save it. And here we go, Notes. It's actually under Sharing. So if I want to, I can edit the... Um, I can edit the structure of this if I choose to, but I'm just going to leave it there for now. I'll tap plus and create a, play, create a text file. There we go. I've got an editable text file. So testing, here we go. Done. Tap done there and save it. So the file's been saved. Go back to my root level and let's create a voice recording. Tap record. There we go. I'm creating voice recording. Blah, blah, blah. This is the test of phone drive. I'm going to stop it and save it. Save. It saves it as a CF, a core audio file. So there we go. We're experimenting with some functionality here. Now let's go to sample, and it looks like I've got an image here. So what could I do with this? Well, tap edit, tap it, and then I could either edit it or move it. Let's see, that's the button. Move. There we go and tap notes, tap move. It's been moved to notes. So what you can see is that phone drive actually allows you a significant amount of power to do a number of operations that were previously desktop and now tablet. I'm Skylar. Thanks for watching.